Hello and a very warm welcome to the Ladies Club, South Africa's premium women's sports talk show. My name is Valen Kirtley, wishing you a happy Women's Month as we celebrate this very special time in the country. Absolutely. Ma do make a la pe again na le bo motswedi make it habela go ba le lona ka jena mona mokana le nya rena ya bobedi na le hong la mafuma hadi hopolang hape go di ena re ketika mafuma hadi a rona a Africa borwa ka mifuta futa ya bona. You're welcome of course to join the conversation on social media platforms at sport at SABC at Valen Kirtley at Lebomo Tweedy Sebedi Sang, hashtag Yaruna, the ladies clap. Hapo karifuma na hape ko Facebook. It's so easy to get involved in the conversation. And you know what? We want you to get involved in it yes. because we live in a beautiful era that has ushered in the rise of extreme sports. And many women have taken on the grueling challenge. So today's theme is women smashing sexist gender stereotypes in extreme sports. Adventure junkie, fitness athlete, social activist, and actress, and just a ball of energy, Klubi Mboya Arnold is our guest in studio. That is going to be our game changer today. Helen Keller Eri. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Helen, of course, was an American political activist, uh, author, and a lecturer as well. She was well traveled and outspoken in her convictions. A phenomenal woman, Valen. Absolutely. And I think that when we look at that quote and, and what she has to say, it all starts with that seed of hope. It all starts mm. with that optimism and just having the right attitude, doesn't it? And faith. How important is faith in there? Ooh, our game changer has a thing or two to say about faith. And without further ado, we're going to quickly go take this ad break. You've got time to get on to social media. Hashtag the ladies club on Lebo Motswedi. On Twitter. Oh, on at Lebo Motswedi. At Phelan Kirti. At Sports at SABC. So that you can also get involved in our conversation. Our game changer is coming up on the couch after this. Welcome back to the Ladies Club. Our game changer today is a vibrant woman of many talents, all rounder, an actress, sport fanatic, an AIDS ambassador. Flubim Boya Arnold burst into the scene. La Mohopula, but I'm a Miss Nandi. Paul Nanungla is sitting. Go live up along. Kanalenya Burare, and her brand has since grown in leaps and bounds. As she lives the type of life that epitomizes what it means to be a strong woman. Welcome yes. to the Ladies Club! Yes. I'm happy to be here. We're yeah. happy to have you here, yeah, <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I actually <laughs> thought we might need a fire extinguisher yeah. inside our studio because it's just yeah. uh, this ball of fire. This label, go-getter, dream chaser. That's you. Being your own boss. That's you. Female hustlers, That's Valen. You. Um, Woman extraordinaire, feminista, yes. million dollar mindset, growth yes. mindset, yes. woman empowerment, and all the good stuff. Oh. That's to be more Arnold. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, actually, we haven't quite got to the graphics. I can fit all of that in, but yeah. okay. <laughs> she is none other than Louis Mboya Arnold. Arnold. And your life is, amongst <sighs> all of these things, has got this one thread that runs through it, which is why we brought you here, and that is sport and being active. Tell us how sports and activity have just been a part of your life for so long. Very few people know I was actually very active in high school and at school. And my dad was a very much a professional rugby player when it was still wow. the part of black wow. and white undercover. Very few people know that. I think when I finished school, went to varsity, you know, obviously the priorities changed at varsity. And when I left varsity and actually started working professionally, 21 years old, and I was right here at the SABC walking down the same yeah. corridors. So I'm having a lot of deja vu yeah. and ghosts and spirits walking around <laughs> with me. Oh, passes on my taban. I think a way to, and I, and I, and I reinforce that 20 years down the line. Sure. It, it, I think when you involve sport, and it doesn't have to be competitive sport, yeah. hardcore, active, leisure sport, being a, active and, and, and able, 
it just really does differentiate from the rest. Sure. I think that it creates a mindset. Yeah. You talk about faith, a yeah. faith, because we're very in tune and in touch yeah. with our bodies. Yeah. And I'm not necessarily talking about competitive sports, this label. Mm. I'm talking about the ordinary South African mm. who walks every day to catch her taxi, who walks every day to go fetch her kid from school to the professional athlete. I think it's a mind, body, spirit, and it exerts yourself in every single sphere in your life. I've obviously pushed myself to the limits because I love competitive sports. Yeah, yeah. I believe in the philosophy of being a team player because in the creative industry and in the competitive world that we live in, being the best of the best yes. is not an easy feat. Being a woman in any field and industry we are in is not an easy feat. Being a black woman of 40 years old, there's got to be a good headspace and everything has got to be realigned and in alignment. And faith, as you said, mm. is everything. Um, God first. Absolutely. You don't even look 40, number one. <laughs> yeah. You don't even <laughs> look 40. You look amazing. But now, the transition, for, because the viewers know you from an actress perspective, as an actress, I know the Nandi brand is the brand that will follow you for the rest of your life. I know. Moving from that <laughs> to now a fitness fanatic, we saw you climbing mountains, Kilimanjaro, we saw you cycling, the next thing we saw you working out in videos. How did that then become who you are today? Because we've known you from being on, 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 on our, in, in front of our TV screens as an actress. I love being creative. Mm. I think there was a time when my role as Unadipa came to an end and I had to recreate my brand. Yeah. I had to be an authentic like that because it's got to be something that's got to last with me and reflective of who I am when, when, wherever I may go to this level. Mm. And it had to be authentic. Um, I think it's an easy fit when I'm an HIV activist yeah. and say, eat properly exercise, mm. take your meds, forget about stigmas, mm. have support from society and structure, be educated. It's easy for me to really get into the space, space of exercise and being active as a tool for social ills, no matter mm. where that is. It helps with depression, sure. it helps with psychos yeah. psychosocial problems, it helps with obesity, it helps with um, sugar diabetes. Wow. So, I uh, know the mud, I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We are putting wow. I mean, you have put it on. You know, it's like, really? We've really? Got really? It all you know, that. Again, you know? <laughs> but I love, you know what? As you said, in my, our definition of today's show, yeah. it's breaking gender stereotypes. Yes. It's not easy, though. And you go into spaces where they're not really that may be open to you, but you've always kind of just gone in there your own luby way mm. and managed to take over. I don't want to live a life of regret. I don't want to live a life in fear. Mm. I'm not trying to exclude myself from being a woman because I love mm. being a girl. I love being a black female. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I love men and I love my dad and there are good men out there and not all men are trash. Yeah, true. But at the same time, um, we've got to step up our game because I think we have to own, you know, our own spaces as women, you know, we've got to own our own stories and the power of our stories mm. and changing those narratives and also being able to be great examples to young girls out there, especially young girls who see Othrubi doing these things, who see Ovalen doing these things and thinking, oh my God, I can do that. Mm. You know what I mean? As a profession, as an industry, as somebody who's doing things that are not in the norm, you know, and, and create spaces where young black girls feel powerful and feel um, that they have a right to belong anywhere in the world and they have a right to make Amen. global decisions anywhere in the world. You've done the Cape Epic, the Absa Cape Epic. How grueling is that? And the mentality that it took, uh, mental strength to mm -hmm. be able to do that. As I say with anything, Sis Lebo, um, mental strength and being mentally prepared for me is a way of life. That's the way I, 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 I honor script Zami when I prepare for work. That's the way I deal with the tough industry. You girls are in sports. You know how, how male-dominated yeah. this is and how mm -hmm. mentally prepared you have to be just to get in and wake up and say, okay, I've got to go do this job every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And everything we go through, you, I, I read a lot of books. I was just speaking about Valent, and it's not about just us in the sports industry or my industry, in corporate South Africa as well. Those CEOs at the top every day have to go there with their armor mm -hmm. in hand and saying, I will 
have to do this day as best as I can. And I will be shunned and put down thinking I'm not deserving of the job or I'm not ready for the job. And those are, those are our realities at the end of the day. So mental strength is big for me. And that's what I love about being a, a, a really a sport enthusiast. Mm. I, I really love competitive sport. But more important, that's it, isn't it? Mm. Too much, isn't it? No, but, no, right, no, right. Right. but listen up, girls. Perfect. I'm <laughs> um, team sports, sis level for yeah. me. They really and Abandwan, I find I, I really trying to teach that with the kids that I deal with, that it's about support. Sure. It's about respect. Uh -huh. It's about standing up for one another. It's about when you're down, you rising yourself up again. It's about never giving up. Mm. It's about uh, if you want it, you have to work for it. And it's about discipline and commitment. Sure. Oh, she's climbed Kilimanjaro. <laughs> she's gotten dirty in the mud you know? with warrior racing. She's done the Apsa Cape Epic. Sani to see. Well, wow. there's very little that you can't do. I think so. I think <laughs> but, but we're going to continue speaking about her. And this nicely brings us to our trailblazer because our yeah. trailblazer today knows a thing or two about mountain bike cycling. His professional mountain bike cyclist, Robin de Groot. Robin <gasps> specializes in marathon bike racing and is four times South African cross country marathon champion. Absolutely. She has, of course, represented South Africa at four world champs, uh, the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi, as well as the 2012 London Olympic Games in road cycling. She then decided to retire from, uh, from the road, but said her life would be incomplete without a bike. And definitely, you've got to own one to go mountain racing. <laughs> well, you know what? Road cycling's loss was certain mountain biking's gain. Robin also found time during her hectic schedule to study sports psychology at the University of Johannesburg. Wow. She went on to do her honours in biokinetics at the University of Cape Town and along with a German partner Sabine Spitz she finished wow. second at this year's Absa Cape Epic. Now I saw you get very very excited about our trailblazer today. Robin there's a, a sports supplement team which I won't uh, punt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Wait, wait, hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. We'll be chatting to Fubi about Robin. Okay. Right after this. Welcome back, you're watching The Ladies Club. Thanks so much for staying with us. Our game changer in studio today is the energetic Klubium Boya Arnold. Please get involved in our conversation. So easy, just use our hashtag, hashtag The Ladies Club on Facebook as well as Twitter. You can even email us if you'd like to. Okay, so we, we stopped the conversation yes. midway. Speaking about Robin, tell, yeah. us, tell us about Robin. She's like one of my heroines. Really? Yeah. We, we re represented uh, the same sporting brand. She's a mountain biker. Yeah. She's educated. You know, Sis Lebo, there's one thing just to love sport, but it's nice to be able to educate other people That's about sports. True. So she really, after what she said about she studied, you know, uh, sports ed and stuff like that, she inspired me to go and study personal training, training in different environments, inner life skills, because as I said, it's also about the inside mm. and also just uh, training school kids. So that's what I love about the Deep Stoke Mountain Biking wow. Academy, where me and Valen met such a very long time ago. And my work there has never stopped. And wow. that was in 2013, Sislev. What does it take for someone to get themselves ready to climb Mount Kilimanjaro? A great support structure for me, family. How important is that support structure then? You know, your family, how important is it? You can't life? do anything really extreme like that without a support structure. Really? Because you're training outside of the ordinary. You, if you're really serious about it, you're eating differently. You're scared. What are I, you eating differently in terms of training? Tell me yeah, more. Well, for me, I really carbo loaded, you know, and really tried to um, eat good carbs, sis lebu, not eat junk all the time eat good proteins, vegetables. And so your family's also going to jump on that bag wagon, True. you know, for the good or for bad. Um, training, really, you can get up at half past four if you want to be serious training in summer and go and train and go and do runs and stuff like that, especially when it's um, hectic endurance sports. 
your support structure of a family. And these sports are dangerous, guys. Mm. As we all know, Mount That's Kilimanjaro, true. you know, some people come and some people don't come That's back home. True. So you've also got to let that emotion seep into the family. So mm. as an athlete, the family support structure, we all talk about training and preparation, but if if you don't have the support and the love, and sometimes, because sometimes you're not going to have a good day in training. Sometimes you're going to go back and say, I really don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. And your family's going to be like, you've come so far. They are instructive and, and crucial when mm. it comes to any athlete and the goals that they want to achieve, wow. Sisvi. Uh, L. So, you know, I mean, at the moment, you have a lot of hats that you wear. Uh, executive Director of Future CEOs in Sunshine Cinema, Social Justice Activist, Sponsored Athlete, Actress, HFPA Ambassador. I mean, it just the list goes on and on and on. And we want to chat a little bit about some of your upcoming projects mm. um, uh, in the other life that you lead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, yeah. it does feel like there's a lot of lives yeah, that we're yeah, leading at yeah. the moment. But what what is the what is the sports goal that you have in mind that you, you are working wow. towards? Good one. That's a great question. Yeah, that I didn't think of me that up. as well. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm not competing in anything, V. I'm not trying to achieve something. Yeah. I just want to really have the consistency of just being healthy and active. Like an ordinary person, not the psycho, it will be. But also, yeah. it's family time. Oh, wow. So, it's the other exercise with the husband. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, that's basically where I'm at. Um, I think that life is always a juggle. You know how we are. Yeah. Um, but I'm at a time where I'm ready for the family. And how do you juggle it then? It seems that you, you are ready for a family. Mame, how do you juggle Mame it? Mamela says, Lebo, women have done it before me and women will do it after me. You know? That's and um, I, I always want to be able to express myself in all forms. And I think I, I always want better. I, I, I always want to improve. But I really think it's been almost 25 years in this career. Sure. It's been almost 25 years of service to Abantu Bam, to my people. Wow. Me. It's been uh, almost 25 years of trying and testing and being seen and be quiet and reinventing. Mm. I think it's time now to start a new chapter of my life. Oh, wow. And excite and might be more exciting. It might be the best time of my life ever. Wow. You know what I mean? It, it, I know a lot of things are going to change. Yeah. You're a mom. Yeah. I know priorities will change, yeah. but it's, I don't think it's something that I'll ever regret. And I think it's changed for the better. Wow. Oh, okay. So <laughs> tell us, so then tell us from the other side, the actress life that Louis lives. What are the current projects that you're working on? I'm an advocate for more black female leads. Mm. Whether it's in theater, whether it's in sports, mm. whether it's in drama, whether it's on stage. I am an advocate for equal pay because we, jerk, we work twice as hard yeah. ladies. And yeah. we want that remuneration as much as the same. So it's an honor and it's a privilege and it's a blessing to be able to put my honor where my mouth is. Mm. Because now I landed the role as a, as a black female lead wow. and the rest of the leads are males. Wow. Um, called uh, The Docket, yeah. which is going to be on SABC3, Yay. where it all began. Oh, wow, 360. Full circle. Yeah. Where it all began, I play Captain Chitiki Moche, no Tsikilelo Moche. She's and, like Captain. And she's like Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know what? It's, it's a great story, and it's a great storyline because it's a crime series drama. We all need it. South Africans love that. Yeah. I think um, we really try to solve real South African cases. It's great script, it's great story, and really, it's it's nice to see a black female lead, um, you know, with on our television screens, taking a place of power, taking a place of decision making, and try to make the world a better place. It's all about justice, unity, and freedom. So that's where I'm at. Wow! And that's going to be on the 22nd of August at half past nine. Oh, now, 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 now. All right, yeah, on yeah, our yeah. sister channel. But now, if yes. you're not reading scripts, if you're not riding in mud, uh, running races <laughs> and cycling, what is to be doing in her spare time, if there is, to relax, to calm down, in solitude? How do you just zone in and just hoosa? I'm a big believer, hey? Really? Yeah, I'm a fearless woman of God. Thank goodness my husband is as well. Mm. She knows that. Um, I found my rejuvenation 
and my space and my power and my energy source mm. from the Holy Spirit. Amen. I really, really, really do. This is not my own. My life is not my own. Um, that's where I get family is number two. I have to see my parents. I have to see my siblings. I have to speak to my cousins. I have to reconnect because they put me in my place. Mm. And it's unconditional and selfless love. So mm. Mabandu Bami. Mm. Um, what else? And then friends, man. But you know what? We, we're, in, we're living the lives where your family and friends are the same thing. That's true. That's yeah. true. So, uh, and I really try to protect my space and my energy. So you, I, I, I do my, 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 my secret space. Wow. So I keep that very private um, and very much me and my husband and my family. Oh, wow. So there's a couple of things that people have said about you. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, the things that we've read about you, you're a great supporter of the Africa to Kun, cradle to career model. Cre and some of the things that have been said about you with people that you work with, create an attitude where the team believes absolutely anything is impossible. So you are the seed of optimism for yeah. people. Uh, you've been an official Mandela charity champion since 2008, promoting literacy in South Africa. And... Uh, one of the leaders of that campaign said her physical abilities are only surpassed by her mental ability. And then Mark Lubna of the Smile Foundation said ability to marry intellect and persistence in a bundle of energy that is so infectious. And this is something that we've really, Absolutely. really felt today. Lots of people will say lots of things about you, but how would you like to be remembered? For me, I can't speak for anyone else, Cicely. Growing older is a privilege. Uh, many people have passed. Mm. Family, friends. Um, peers, colleagues, and it's a privilege to be alive. So I really want to fulfill my highest calling and my highest potential as a human being possible. And that's my positive energy. I use that to uplift myself, the mm. people around me, and my community. Wow. And that's me. That's in closing, your message to the women that are watching, and what quote do you live by? Oh, you! These are hard. <laughs> Sheesh, girls. As a woman, when you stand up for yourself, yeah. you stand up for all other women. I come as one, but I'm supported by my ancestors. So mm. I come in 10,000. That was my Angela. You multiply. I multiply. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was my Angela. And Oprah always says, we love Oprah. She always says that still to this day, she finds herself in boardrooms and in meetings where she's still the only black female. And she says that I know God placed me there for a reason, that I've worked hard to be mm. in that position where I'm at. And I don't come as one, but I stand as 10,000. And I think that's the most powerful thing that I've heard in a long time. Wow, Shubi. <sighs> well, that was incredible. Thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you so, so much. That was, that was Did incredible. You, was I OK? You were amazing. <laughs> you were amazing. <laughs> An Oscar-winning performance. Thank you yeah. so much I for being you. on The Ladies Club. We have appreciated your energy and for being our guest on the show today. This is how we wrap it up, you know? Yeah. What a great show it's been, and we look forward to chatting to you again next week. We, you know how we always say, greatness is never given, it's always earned. Yes. Cheers. Till next week. Goodbye. Bye-bye.